We are now lit. We are ready. And of course, uh, this is the Rob Black Show uh, bringing you uh, three hours. Ah! <laughs> Do re mi lo fa so la ti do. Mm -hmm. Do a la la mi fa so la ti do. Do la la. All right, I feel good now. We're back. I got to tell you something. I'm Rob Black. I am your humble host. I'm not really fucking humble, but I am your host. <clears throat> and I'll be here uh, screaming about uh, things for the next uh, three hours. Well, it's actually, I'll be here for two hours. Uh, and then uh, Katie Summers will be here. And what Katie Summers does is brings us news. She brings us world news uh, and tells us what's happening in the world. Like, did they find that fucking Malaysian airliner? Did they find it? Uh, last I was told, they found some debris. We're going to uh, get to that uh, in Katie's... Uh, well, actually, I shouldn't even say that because she hasn't been talking about it. She says she doesn't really care about it anymore. She's over it. And I said... Well, I'm not. Just like, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not over uh, the Mike South, uh, would we say controversy? Uh, would we say, uh, hubba -la -ba -ba -ba? I mean, what do we say about uh, Mike South and uh, the, his incredible uh, arrogance, uh, his uh, complete lack of um, Jesus Christ, I, I don't even know, I've never seen, this is, it's very, this really is, uh, it's so, it, we are as an industry, we are as people, we are as uh, friends, as enemies, we are everything that, uh, that the real world and politics are. Let me, let me explain, and I've always said this. Remember, I've been in this business, I'm 40 now. I've been in this business all my life, uh, dating back to, uh, you know, being uh, 10 years old, uh, 9 years old, having uh, my uh, house, uh, my parents' houses and grandparents' houses be raided and uh, so forth and so on for this business. So I've grown up in this quote unquote world. And I've always said that this world uh, operates uh, like a mini, um, <laughs> like, a, like, a, like a mini country, a mini uh, state. We are exactly as if uh, we uh, live outside of this uh, greater uh, society. Rather, we all intermingle, we all intermarry, whoever you name it. Uh, we do everything amongst ourselves. Uh, most of the people in the business are friends with only each other. Most of the people only date each other. Uh, most of the people, if you need uh, a referral or a reference, it's each other. Rather, you're going to get a new uh, apartment or a new house or a new car and you need references. What do you reference? Oh, I mean, you know, so-and-so uh, at, uh, at this studio. Oh, this uh, art de designer. This per Everything is uh, co-mingled uh, inside this business. So, uh, it gets amazing when you see what goes on in this business with the people that uh, claim to be so important in this business, who claim to be uh, the, the, the be-all, end-all of this business, uh, and who make a business for themselves of terrorizing uh, other people in this business. And 
uh, Mike South is somebody who is the biggest uh, terrorizer. Uh, he is basically a domestic terrorist. He's always been one uh, from day one, and he sits in a trailer in Georgia. Now, let me explain something. I said this on my night show, and how I'm comparing it to this uh, real world uh, and politics and so forth. Uh, the Governor Chris Christie bridge scandal. That thing's been going on now for fucking months. And every day you hear something about it in the press. And it doesn't go away. And Governor Chris Christie will not uh, answer questions about it. And the questions he answers are very uh, broad. They're very quick. And they're very, uh, I didn't know anything about it. And then walks away. As he gets yelled at at every town hall meeting, there is. And the general consensus is, come uh, election time uh, in 2006, this guy's fucking done. Uh, he will never, ever, okay, ever, this guy will never, ever, ever run for president ever again, or think about running for president ever again. Uh, and it will not go away. It has sunk him. It has buried him. Now, when you uh, think about Malaysian Airlines, uh, that thing's been going on now for 17 days, 30 days, 90 days. People busting balls because CNN, that's all they've been talking about. But again, until you get answers, uh, you talk about something until it's satisfied. Now, when we had a pedophile in this business, I talked about it for two, three weeks until people got nauseous. Uh, but I still did not uh, get any answers. And I think the only reason we stopped talking about it is I think somebody got AIDS and bumped us out of the top uh, story of talking about the pedophile. Now, uh, this uh, world we live in, in the porn business, is no different than uh, mainstream. Uh, and we will talk about things, and we will conduct ourselves, rather, as a whole as a business, or as uh, fragments of the business, rather, they're AVN or uh, uh, different websites or if you're uh, the devil man <laughs> Ari uh, <laughs> or Michael Whiteacre whatever his name is uh, you uh, get on a story until it's answered or until uh, there has been a sufficient debate now as the United States of porn world, and I used to joke about that when we first came on the air and I said I was the president, uh, we are basically exactly that. We are our own world. And what came to light uh, at the hands of uh, a group of investigators, and I've been, uh, I guess, uh, uh, emailed and, and, and criticized uh, and, we're, and you could tell they're uh, Mike South supporters, or at least people that uh, love his fucking hillbilly cock, uh, that say, well, Rob, uh, you're uh, going off of things that a uh, Sean Tompkins and a Michael Whiteacre and a, uh, uh, a Cindy Spiegler uh, are doing. You know, uh, these people talk uh, bad about you. These people... Listen, when President Obama ran against uh, Hillary Clinton in the primaries, Hillary Clinton did everything but, uh, well, shit, she basically called uh, President Obama a dirty nigger. That's basically what she called him. And if it wasn't her who called him that, it was her surrogates, to the point where she even had uh, the, uh, the owner of BET, uh, who's a black guy, uh, sitting there, uh, in interviews and in town hall meetings calling uh, Obama a, basically a crackhead. Uh, 
politics is an interesting uh, thing, and the way uh, the work are, is very complex. And unless you're incredibly stupid, you don't know how these things work. And you have to, at times, work with uh, people that uh, six months ago, two months ago, one month ago, you uh, were at odds with uh, for a greater good. And I think at the end of the day, uh, for all of the uh, animosity and, and hatred and so forth and so on, uh, my uh, disagreements with uh, that crew uh, can be put aside, and we can come together on a common goal, which is Mike South, because ultimately, Mike South is uh, the enemy of the entire business. He's the enemy of every single person that has ever uh, walked in this entire business. Okay, let's face it. Mike South is nothing but pure evil. He's always been pure evil, and I've had to deal with this piece of dog shit uh, for the last, I don't know, 17 years uh, since I was at Elegant Angel and I got his ass fucking fired. I've had to deal with him. I've had to deal with somebody that literally will post stories and lies about you uh, based off an anonymous email. I get anonymous emails every fucking day. I get fucking innuendos thrown at me every day from people. And if I actually sat here and talked about them uh, and uh, 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 wrote about them with Tom Byron, uh, not only would it be uh, wrong, not only would it be uh, uh, fucking dishonest, but... As much as an evil motherfucker I am, it would actually be unfair and hurt people that ultimately, if I want to hurt you, I will tell you I'm going to hurt you. And I'm going to tell you why I'm going to hurt you. And I'm going to tell you that it's coming from me. I'm not a bitch. If I don't like you, I'm going to say, yo, bro, I don't like you. Here's the reasons I don't like you, and here's the reasons I'm going to bring fucking pain to your life. Simple. And then from that point, you can either try to make amends with me uh, to limit the amount of abuse and pain you're going to get, or you can fight me back and we could go into the bitter end. But I'm not going to ever do something that is unjustified, unwarranted, and every person that I go after. And now, let me explain something to you. There's two senses of going after somebody. There's ball busting, which anybody who knows me, anybody who fucking knows me, uh, that claims they know me and who legitimately knows me, Knows there's a difference between ball busting from Rob Black, Rob Zakari, and Rob going after you. Ball busting of Rob Zakari is someone who literally will ball bust. When I sit up here and I ball bust, and I talk about Kelly Shabari being a big fat fuck, and I talk about all the fat girls of wanting ham, that's ball busting. Okay, at the end of the day, uh, I don't hate them. I don't wish death upon them. Uh, there's a difference. Uh, when I talk about Frank Kretzky, there's a genuine hate. There's a genuine disdain. There's a genuine I wish death on him because of all the instances I've brought up. All the instances that I've brought up. When I talk about uh, a Brad Armstrong or a Jessica Drake. Those are ball busting. When I talk about fucking Steve Orenstein, those are ball busting. There's not a genuine hate because they've never done anything to me. Believe it or not, Jules Jordan, when I harass that little ball fucking dwarf, there's not a genuine hate. I would not uh, want to kill him. I would not... 
uh, laugh to see him die. Okay? And that's ball busting. Uh, there was times back years and years and years ago where we would go to conventions. We would go to this thing called the Phoenix. Um, uh, it was called the uh, Expo Mart. It would be in uh, Arizona. And he literally uh, would walk into uh, the uh, lunch area where there'd be maybe 200 people all sitting down having lunch. And big, big wigs from different uh, production companies. And I would stand up in the middle of this place and go, Everybody, it's Jules Jordan, the greatest pornographer in the world. Let's give him a round of applause. And I'd get everybody to start clapping. And you'd see him just turn bright red. And just like, you fucking asshole. That's ball busting. That's, that's, that's busting someone's balls. That fucking just being a fucking little piss ass. You know, that, that, that's not going to fucking hurt and kill somebody. But Mike South is somebody that generally is a huge a piece of shit that I wish would fucking die. He's somebody that, uh, since I've been in the business, has done nothing uh, but spread lies about me, all based on um, anonymous emails, to the point where he would sit there and say, I got this email from somebody, uh, and this is what they say, and what do you think about that, Robbie? Huh, you scumbag, you piece of shit. And he would do this all from his little safe confines of his Georgia fucking trailer. Because he knew if he ever came out here and he wasn't sitting on an AVN panel or somewhere where you couldn't get to him, where you couldn't walk up and stick your foot up his fucking ass, he would be fucking done. His fucking head would be bashed in. So he would sit in his fucking trailer and run his fucking mouth. Literally, and lie, and lie, and lie. And I explained to everybody last night why this is. Because Mike South is a jealous, inbred fuck. Who got fucking excommunicated out of the city of porn some 18 years ago, when Rob Black got his ass fired from Patrick Collins at Elegant Angel. And after that, uh, any job that he got was for a bunch of low-rent garbage companies that put out amateur porn with him and his fucking herpetic, fucking sore-filled dick. And once they got sick of his inbred ass and his movies that wouldn't sell, uh, he was uh, resorted back to hiding in Georgia, wishing he could be a pornographer. So what did he do? He came up with a blog to get back at everybody that did bad to him. He was going to write about everybody that did him wrong because he's so fucking jealous that he's not part of the cool crew. He's so jealous that he's not on the inside. So guess what? He created this uh, bullshit site so that people would give him attention. And he's never printed anything substantial. He's never had real opinions that have ever mattered. They've all been a bunch of hearsay bullshit from his fucking super gonorrhea stories to his fucking putting up pictures of mope porn actors and then saying, oh, that's Xander Corbis. And then you go, dummy, no it's not. And he goes, oh, well, anyways, next. Putting up fucking pictures of old Mexican hookers and calling him Sofia Delgado. And then someone goes, bro, that's not Sofia Delgado. And what does he do? Oh, well, you get the point. And now, his motherfucker is outed. He's outed. He's fucking outed. Okay? 
One of, uh, one of the emailers yesterday said, I need to have a funeral for Mike Stopped. And I told them in an email, I said, that's awesome. I said, I'm going to do that next week. Great idea. I love it. And we're going to do that next week. We're going to do a fucking funeral. Mike South has been outed. This motherfucker has been outed. He's been outed. Plain and simple. The motherfucker has sat here in this business and railed against everybody for doing exactly what he does in the backwoods of fucking Louisiana or Georgia or whatever inbred hillbilly fucking methamphetamine fucking place that he's from. Have you guys seen pictures of him lately with his fucking long stringy hair? Fucking guy is disgusting trying to fucking stuff his limp ass fucking uh, herpetic riddled dick inside fucking girls. He's been outed. Plain and simple. And this motherfucker refuses to give any answers to rip nothing. So you know what you have to do? You actually have to go onto his website and go in his little message board section where he has himself posted. And then two other people post as him. Basically, he posts under fake names. And then you have two or three other people that are obviously uh, strangers. You know, well, not him. And... One of them is a girl who actually has the balls. And the funny thing is, uh, she's actually being let uh, question South. And as she questions South, what's great is he just buries himself even more. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me explain something to you. You have... One of the biggest stories right now. And I consider this a huge story. Why? Because Mike South claims to be uh, the voice and the go-to person that everybody uh, uh, reads and watches and all that bullshit. And when he gets outed as being a scumbag, when he gets outed, and when I say scumbag, we're not just talking about somebody who fucking, uh, you know, uh, fucking farts on women while he has sex with them. We're not talking about somebody who picks his nose and eats his boogers. We're talking about somebody who straight up lies to the press, straight up lies to the press, and then implicates government officials into his lies. And we'll revisit these because if you go over uh, to the real uh, porn WikiLeaks, uh, Tompkins and, uh, and the Devil Man, if you go over there, they even have another posting uh, from the girl, uh, the, the Jessica Chase girl, who says straight up, there was no OSHA official in the room. When I had sex with Mike South in the Embassy Suites Hotel, Mike South is fucking a liar. The same guy who will literally fucking scream and yell and bully people on the web. He, again, I have no love loss for T Real. I have, again, no dog in any of these fights. Okay? I'm like the fucking Mel Gibson yelling at the Jew reporter. I got no dog in this fight, do you? Okay? Me, I don't fucking give a shit. Okay? I, I can T Real, whatever, I don't care. But when I watch T Real get fucking terrorized on Mike South's site, and Mike South is literally basically bullying and T real because Mike South's sitting in his little fucking Georgia fucking uh, trailer 
and telling T Real, shut your mouth, I'm gonna, you're a liar, I'm gonna divulge taxes. And here's Mike South, straight up, straight up lying uh, to a reporter at AVN, Peter Warren, and then implicating Georgia government officials. Okay? Mike South said that he has OSHA compliance people on every single one of his sites. And the girl, Jessica Chase, said he's full of shit. Plain and simple. He's full of shit. There was no compliance officer in the Embassy Suites Hotel. The, the, plain and simple. Mike South is a piece of shit. Uh, let me tell you something. He bullies T-Real and says, I'm going to tell everybody about a girl you got pregnant. Are you... Who fucking cares? Who fucking cares? Who fucking cares? I don't give a shit if T-Real got 75 girls pregnant. What I do care about is that Mike South or anybody is actually so blatantly and so just brazenly sitting there telling reporters, hey, I have government officials from OSHA that go on every single one of my sites here in Georgia and they give me the stamp of approval. That is fucking amazing to me. That is amazing. To me, Mike South and anybody that advertises on this piece of shit's website should fucking boycott it right now. This guy should be fucking banished from any contact with the adult business whatsoever. And that's just one outlandish statement. Because what you got to do is you got to go to this piece of shit's website because the only place he will comment on the fucking shit he's done is in his little message board to some fucking people that have questioned him. And the only reason, and the only reason this one girl, and let me explain this, the only reason uh, this one girl is getting away with fucking questioning him is because she is listed on his site as a contributing author. And if he bans her, he's fucked. There's one girl who actually has the balls named Brooke Tyler. I have no idea who Brooke Tyler is. She must be a fucking an internet girl who just shoots content herself. But uh, Brooke Tyler is going after Mike South. And for Mike South to silence her, He's, he'd be fucked because she's listed as a contributing author. And as a contributing author, if he sat there and shut her down, now he's completely fucked. He's, he, now he's more fucked than he is. So this girl, Brooke Tyler, is fucking giving it to him. And the answers he's given to her is opening his asshole up this big. Now the things he's saying uh, makes his asshole look this big. And then, here's the other great thing. He has this person on his site that goes by the name of Jilted, who fucking defends everything Mike South does. This person hides behind a fake name, but then tries to tell everybody that they've been involved in the business for over 20 years. And they made a post. Let me read this to you guys, okay? Because to me, this motherfucker it, it, it opened himself up or herself up. And now I think everybody should demand. I think we should get a fucking answer. But before I get to that, let me explain something to you. With all of this stuff swirling about Mike South, the living, breathing piece of shit. 
when I woke up this morning and I got my notes to take a look at Mike South's site, do you realize the first thing that he put up was I get quoted in Maxim Magazine. That's his fucking post. Everything that's going on, this inbred cocksucker has the audacity to post. I get quoted in Maxim. And he says, I get a blur in the current issue of Maxim. I haven't seen it yet. But I'm told I'm quoted in the current issue of Maxim Magazine in the article about backroom casting couch. It isn't online, but in the print issue, I will try to nab a copy of it today. So, everything that's going around, okay? Everything that's going around, that's his fucking top story was he gets quoted in Maxim. And now let me explain something to you guys, because I know some of you uh, haven't figured this out, but I know this for a fact because I'm on the inside. And uh, Alexandra, because she's got a lot of conspiracy theories, let me explain something. Any press that you see that is done from Mike South, that connection is from Adela, okay? Finance marketing, Adela. Adela is the one that has all the contacts with these mainstream people. So remember when you seen the CNBC Forbes list and all that powerful people in the bit? That's all from Adela, okay? Adela has been friends with Mike South for years and years and years. Adela throws Mike South a bone here and there to basically shut his fucking mouth and not talk bad about Adela and any of her fucking clients. Henceforth, this performer advocacy group that now Mike South is telling everybody that he's heard from them and he's giving them a shot. Uh, the person that is part of that is Chanel Preston and her person who she pays a thousand a month to is Adela. That's her friend. They travel. They go to vacation together. Adela is the connection from Mike South. Mike South doesn't get any of this mainstream press on his own. He gets it from Adela. When Adela, okay, when Adela was doing the same thing for Jerry at Exquisite Multimedia when I was there, Adela was the one that got us in VH1's uh, 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 article about parodies where they talked about Reservoir Dogs. That was Adela. She got us in uh, an article uh, from VH1. That was Adela, Bleeding Cool, the comic book magazine uh, internet. That was Adela. All of that press we got was from Adela. Adela at Finance Marketing is the one uh, that worked with Tara Patrick. Adela is the one uh, that worked with Digital Playground. Adela is the one that developed all of these contacts, she throws Mike out the bone. So there's no grand conspiracy of this ultimate Swami club. There is no uh, special uh, uh, knowledge that Mike South knows. Adela says, hey, if you're looking for this ABC, this is who you need to talk to. And then they go and talk to Mike South, the fucking retard. No difference than when we were at Jerry's at Exquisite and we were in VH1 and we were in all these other little mainstream things. It wasn't because of us. It wasn't because we were calling VH1. It was because of Adela. Okay? You fucking guys get this? Adela. 
Okay? Do you guys get this? Adela. So, this morning, Mike South puts up a blurb that he was quoted in Maxim Magazine. Ooh. That's his big news. While he's sitting here basically committing criminal acts. Forget all the stuff in porn. The fact that he's implicating the Georgia officials and basically participating uh, in the, um, I, gee, I don't know, uh, uh, signing off on porn being shot in Georgia and uh, spraying fucking uh, hazardous bodily fluids. This is all factual, okay? If you want to fucking dispel anything that uh, the girl has said, you know, if you all want to sit there and condemn the girl, go ahead. But you can't fucking dismiss Mike Sop saying he has OSHA compliance officers on every single one of his sets. And his little supporters that he has on his punk-ass website seem to be overlooking that. Because that's the thing that buries him. So they want to overlook that. Just like Chris Christie would. Just like any fucking politician uh, who's gotten their hands caught red-handed breaking the law. And ultimately, uh, Mike South is breaking the law. He is saying that he has government officials that are part of his, what, his his. Shooting? I don't, I don't understand what he's saying. And if one of you can explain to me what he's saying, I'm all fucking ears. So now, the second post, because of course, you know, uh, I get quoted in Maxim, uh, is, you know, hey, that that's, you know, hey, I'm a big shot. Well, look at me. His second post, which is his lead post, be ready for this, guys? A Brief History of Man Sith, Manwin, Mind Geek. What do you think of that? So, he's getting hammered for being a criminal. And what does he do? He brings up Manwin, Mind Geek, and Man Sith. Now, Manwin, Mansif, Mind Geek, Peter Warren, okay? I know one of you have to be listening to my show and or I know somebody that listens to my show has contacts with you guys. What you need to do now is run another story on Mike South and his new set of lies that he's telling, okay? Can any of you please do that? Peter Warren, uh, today, uh, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, in about a half hour, we're going to reach out to the Georgia uh, 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 OSHA department, and we're going to ask them about these officials. Now, what you guys should be doing, okay, what Mark Kearns should be doing, is doing the same thing. You guys should have already done this. When Mike South, once again, claims to you, AVN, that he has OSHA inspectors on every one of his sites, okay, on every one of his sets, AVN, Mark Kearns, as good reporters, you all should be on the phone with Georgia officials asking about this. That's what reporters do. Okay, that's what a news magazine does. Your name is Adult Video News. Manwin, your fucking name is Adult Video News. What you fucking do is get some fucking news. Okay, so now what you do is you have Mark Kearns call up Georgia OSHA. That, that, this, do you, are you fucking listening to me? 
if anybody uh, who has contacts with the people at ABN, f f Devil Man, I know you're listening to me, Devil Man, okay? Devil Man, you got Peter Warren to put that article in ABN. What you need to be doing right now is reaching out to Peter Warren saying, Peter, we need to do a follow-up because Mike South said something that was very, very troubling. And what that is, is he has Georgia OSHA officials on every one of his fucking sets. That, my friends, is a story. That, my friends, is an investigation. And if, devil man, you want to keep going and you want to fucking finally put the nail in the coffin of this inbred hilly piss of shit, you would call AVN and you would say, Peter Warren, you need to do a follow-up. If you are a news agency and you are somebody that gives a shit because your name is adult video news, then guess what? You would be on the phones. On the fucking phones. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what Mike South does. Okay? Classic, classic. Remember, everybody, when we were talking about the pedophile and talking about how Mike South promotes the fucking pedophile, when he was making claims to people just happened to having uh, a lunch uh, with a pedophile. Oh, and I started attacking Mike South. And then instantly you see a story about super gonorrhea. Mike South is trying to play games once again. But how do you sit here and throw up a history of Manwin Mind Geek uh, when your asshole is being opened up this big from all the fucking lies that you're telling. And everybody in the business is sitting here and being completely fine with this. I'm going to repeat it once again. Mike South opened his asshole up to a news agency. That news agency is called ABN. Mike South, on a daily basis, calls Mark Kearns every name in the book. His little fucking phantom uh, re reviewer people on his fucking bullshit site here talk shit about Mark Kearns. Again, I have no love loss for ABN, Manwin, or fucking Mark Kearns. But, guess what? I like to see people defend themselves. I like to see people, when they've been getting beaten up in a 15-round fight, on the 12th round, they get a fucking upper hook in, and you see the fucking guy start to stagger. I like to see him fucking start fucking coming at. I like to start seeing him fucking put some fucking moves. Maybe fucking pull a fucking win out. I like to see him be a fucking Julio Cesar Chavez. And knock a fucking Meldrick Taylor out in the fucking final fucking two seconds of the 12th round, motherfucker. Right now, ABN, you got fucking Mike South. Okay, Mike South has been fucking peppering you like that. Boom, boom, boom. Fucking peppering you fucks. Bloodying you up. Right now, you motherfuckers just hit him with a fucking uppercut. Just like Buster Douglas did to Mike Tyson. And just in the blink of an eye, all of a sudden you see him starting to stagger. Right now, you guys should be all over Mike South. Peppering him. Fucking peppering him, man. Peppering him. Putting that motherfucker down. You are a news agency. He opened himself up like a shitty boxer. He fucking dropped his hand. Boom! Over it! Boom! Over it! Right fucking there, this motherfucker is there for the taking. For the fucking taking. Do you get this? Do you get this? He opened himself up by proclaiming to a news agency, a fucking news agency, that he has Georgia OSHA officials 
on every single one of his pornographic websites. You have a girl. You have a girl straight up saying that's bullshit. I was in the embassy suites with this hillbilly motherfucker and there was no official. Very simple. Mike South said he has an OSHA official. Who's his OSHA official? Who's the OSHA official? Who is the regulated OSHA official from Georgia? What do we get Mike South doing? Mind geek stories. That's what he's doing. Mind geek stories. Mind geek. He's going after Manly. Guy is a fucking criminal. The guy is fucking a criminal. The guy is a fucking criminal, man. Let me explain this. Okay? As you go through uh, his message boards, because that's all you got a place to go. Okay? All right? Okay? This is where you have to fucking go. Okay? Brooke Tyler. Or Brooke, yeah, Brooke Tyler. Is the only fucking person on his bullshit website that is calling this motherfucker out. Okay? Is the only motherfucker calling this motherfucker out. And when you sit here and look, okay, when you sit here and look at the people that are actually on Mike South's site that go as, I don't even know, his posters, his defenders, they're sitting here uh, trying to fucking uh, discredit, literally, they're trying to discredit uh, anything, anything, anything that uh, this person is saying, which is Brooke Tyler, and deflect anything off of Mike South. And somehow turn this around on, well, it's up to the performers to check testing. Let me try to explain something to you all. If this was just based on performers not checking their tests and so forth and so on, that would be one thing. But it's not. This is about Mike South. And why are you guys trying to uh, uh, dance around this, okay? Why are you trying to dance around this? This wouldn't be an issue if this didn't happen with Mike South and his sets and his shoots. If this was anything else, then we're all fucking talking in circles because it's the same shit. But we're not. We're not talking about Mike South and the things he claims, the things he preaches, and the things that he does. And when it comes out that he is not doing any of the things he claims and preaches, and he's condemning everybody else for it, then we have a problem. So it's not about performer testing, because we've already already dissected to nauseam that the performers in this business are not the smartest fucking tools in the box. We've all, we've all discussed that. We've all discussed when it comes to sex, even the people that are the brightest and smartest don't act appropriately. Do I have to bring back up John Stagliano for the nine billionth time? That is a man by all accounts to everybody, is a genius. Am I wrong or am I right? You have everybody from the top 
of the uh, porn uh, production chain like Stephen Hirsch, all the way to the bottom rungs of fucking the porn production chain like a cow towel cum boy who will all sit there and give varying opinions but the general consensus is John Stalliano is a genius is a is a uh, uh, inventor he created the whole gonzo movement he is somebody that is uh, a pure fucking god in people's eyes when you hear girls that go to work for Evil Angel, they sit there and say, I've always idolized John Stalliano, right? Okay. Well, even everybody's idol falls prey to the almighty sex because that idol went to Brazil knowing, knowing that the HIV rate amongst prostitutes and female prostitutes was about 99.9%, .9%, okay? And he knew that in the heat of the moment, when he was sucking on that tranny's cock, and he decided to take that tranny's cock and bury it deep in his ass, unprotected, he knew that there was a really good chance that he was going to get AIDS. But the lust, the, the, the excitement, all of that trumped common sense and safety. And what happened? He got HIV AIDS. So, if a brilliant man in all of your eyes named John Stagliano can fall prey uh, to a disease and the uh, need for lust, the need for sex, haven't we already beaten to nauseam a girl who's on set, who's afraid to speak up uh, about an AIDS test or about a gonorrhea test or putting Mr. Marcus's syphilitic dick in her mouth? Haven't we all fucking beat that horse down now? And why are you people discussing it on Mike South message board trying to fucking defend Mike South? Why? 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 We've already agreed that porn people are not the smartest people in the world. So this girl that worked for Mike and people that say she's a big girl, she should have asked to see tests. That's not what it's about. If this was Porno Dan or Scott Sparks, uh, these all would be issues. Because it's not up to the girl, it's up to the producer, it's up to the director, but regardless, we're talking about Mike South. We're talking about a man who, when a girl says that somebody looked at her the wrong way, they email Mike South up and Mike South goes and blasts them on his website. Mike South will blast you on his website if you talk to a girl in a disrespectful way. Mike South literally has been posting stories about Scott Sparks being the biggest scumbag in the world because he promised four or five of the lowest of the lowest run black girls that he would make them man win contract girls with Gianna Michaels. And when these girls have given him grief, he said, Fuck you, bitch, you cunt! And these girls have called Mike South. And Mike South has now gone on a mission to tell everybody how Scott Sparks is a scumbag. And you have to look out for talent. And if you have a question about anything going on, call Mike South. Because everybody needs to look out for each other. This is from Mike South. So how is looking out for each other when Mike South lets girls perform with men who aren't completely tested with a full battery of tests? And ladies and gentlemen, if you go on Mike South's site and you actually find where you get Mike South to actually comment and actually say things, okay? You want to hear one of his statements 
This is Mike South's fucking mouth, man. Remember, my guys work for me only. They aren't in that porn talent pool being exposed every day. Every one of my guys has been doing this for a minimum of three years. So much longer. So that long of a history of negative tests also factors in for me. Because I know these guys and what they do. Wow. Am I, am I fucking hallucinating what I just wrote or read? Mike South is saying that his talent and his judgment is better than anybody else's talent and judgment. Mike South is saying that his guys that are fucking the talent that travel from Georgia, down here to fucking Los Angeles, that talent, he knows better. Because after they get done with a scene on one of his dirty ass sets, he gets a chastity belt and locks their peepees up. He does. And then he goes, I got the key to your peepee. Put it right here in my pocket. So once they leave his set, he knows everything they do. He knows all the people they're with after. He knows everything. Matter of fact, I guess he locks them in his basement. Think of you guys. This is you have to read Mike South's message board to actually see the comments that he's posting. Because he won't make a blog post about it, because then everybody will fucking read it. You have to go in his message board and actually read his bullshit comments. Okay? You actually, and then you have to then read people that are defending him, like this guy or this girl jilted, that refuses to say who they are, but yet claims they've been in the business for 20 plus years, and they've had to sit there and tell young women when they've come HIV positive. Okay, wow, it seems like you're an important person in this business. Who are you? Who are you, jilted? Who are you? Who are you that you're defending Mike South and the practices that he's talking about and you're saying nothing about the bullshit he's fucking spewing, but yet you've paid for countless women's tests, and you've paid for uh, bus tickets, and you've had to tell women that they're HIV positive. Well, I would say you sound like a really important person in the adult business. I would think you would be setting up your own uh, 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 activist group. Who are you, jilted? You keep saying, I've said my name on this site before. Where? Who are you, Jilted? Who are you? Since you want to run down people that are actually saying things intelligently, unlike you, because you're a fucking jerk-off. You ain't shit in this fucking business. That's why you hide behind a fake name and post anonymously on a fucking hillbilly site, you jerk-off. That's why you're not in the porn industry right now making a difference. That's why. You're a jerk-off that everybody laughs at, you fucking moron. Or you would be out in front trying to make this business better. But you're not. You're a punk. You're a fucking bitch punk. You ain't shit, motherfucker. You haven't done a fucking thing in this fucking business. If you did, you would go by your real name and if you've done all of these things, like paid for girls' tasks, and you've done 20, 30,000 things out of your pocket, rah, 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 you would be leading the forefront and trying to clean up the business. But you're not! You're a bitch! You're a lying bitch! You fuck! You fuck! You're a fucking 
punk lying bitch. How fucking dare you hide on Mike South's fucking message board, you fucking jerk off. And then fucking try to claim that you're fucking, you're some type of big shot. You fucking people are fucking disgusting. You fucking people are disgusting. Fucking people are, are uh, uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Fucking unbelievable, man. Fucking people are such fucking... It's amazing. He literally... Mike... Listen to this. Okay? Listen to this. Tonya, I'm telling you, you got to listen to Mike, I'm telling you, the, the guy and the people, I want to read you this jilted, okay, I want to read you what this fucking jerk off says, okay, okay, listen to this. I want you guys to hear this. Hold on. This is one of the statements that this fucking lying douchebag says. I don't want this to be about me. Because this Brooke Taylor Tyler is saying that it's jilted. Who are you? If you are so important in the industry, who are you, you fuck stick? I don't want this to be about me. It's not about me. It's about the issues, health and safety, uh, that is more important than me. I guess it didn't count that I personally paid out of my own pocket for every single test that every single performer on the 2004 quarantine list had done at AIM. Yes, I paid for every single one for all 56 people, most of whom tested at least three times. I guess arranging for the care of three HIV-infected girls doesn't count either. Three girls that the industry threw away like used pieces of toilet paper. Hey, remember that article that Mike printed a month before Isadora Hall announced his first bill? I wrote it, but I guess no one was listening. Who are you, Jilted? Who are you? Huh? Who are you that you laid out Let's see, 50 people times 100, do the math. Do the fucking math. You laid out, what, a quarter of a million dollars because some people had multiple, triple times? Who are you, Jilted? You're a fucking liar, you fuck. You're a fucking phony, bitch-ass, punk liar. That's what you are, you fucking gutless fuck. You're a fucking chicken hawk, bitch, motherfucker. That's what you are. You fuck. You're trying to fucking turn everything around on everybody else. Let me explain something to all you fucking morons. And I'm telling you, you think this is going to go away? It ain't going away. You motherfuckers are done. Every day. I'm going to fucking talk about this until I get real fucking answers. You are a bunch of gutless, spineless cowards, man. You're fucking nobodies. You hide behind fake fucking names and claim that you do shit for this business. You don't do shit for this business. You fucking have destroyed this fucking business. Jilted. Let me tell you something, you punk bitch. If you were this great noble person that has helped all of these people, you should be doing that today. If you are somebody that I read earlier posts that have written 
uh, uh, OSHA manual. You've done all this stuff for the business. What do you do now, you fuck? Except sit down there and defend Mike South? You fucking half a fuck. You fuck. You're a fucking ugh. Man, I fuck. I love the fucking... Stick my fist and shove it down your throat and rip out your fucking insides and feed them to Mike Sock, you worthless fuck! Oh, man! You are a fucking piece of shit! And all you people want to try to do is fucking attack Brooke Tyler because she's got the only balls to fucking go after you fucking punk bitches. Bunch of fucking punk bitches. To all you are. Chilty, you're a bitch. You're a fucking punk. You fucking cocksucker. Listen to this. This is, here's another one. Jilted, I'm the guy who sat in the room with Jessica D, Miss Arroyo, and Laura Rocks when they were told they tested HIV positive. I'm the guy who arranged for their treatment. I'm the guy who helped fight the de uh, the, the, the the I'm the guy that helped fight the deportation order for two of them after someone tipped the INS that they were in the country illegally. I'm the guy who has a visible scar on his wrist from one of these girls' fingernails digging so deep into my skin that uh, it left that scar. I'm the guy who kept aim in business for much longer that they should have had their doors open. Now maybe you tell me what have you ever done to help and promote the safety of others. Well, who are you, guy? Who are you? You fucking piece of shit. You're an anonymous punk that's going, I'm the guy who did this. I'm the guy who did that. Who's the guy? Say who you are. Let everybody know what a noble fucking guy you are. Come on. You ain't shit, motherfucker. You ain't shit. You're the guy. You're the fuck. You're fucking shit. So you use condoms. That's great for you. I truly applaud you for holding yourself to a higher standard than 99% of all the other performers. So let's ask the question about all the other performers who don't use condoms. How good is that 10-day-old test after working with 10 different people? Yeah, on a Mike South set who don't get fucking tested, motherfucker! Right, Jilted? You gutless, spineless, bitch-ass punk! Come on, I know you listen to me, you fucking cocksucker! Come on, tell us who you are. I'm the guy with a scar on his wrist. I'm the guy. You ain't shit, motherfucker. You ain't shit. You ain't shit. I'll fuck. I will fucking wait here, motherfucker. Come on. Oh, Tom Byron just told me. Tim Trich. Who the fuck is Tim Trich? Can somebody tell me who Tim Trich is? This is what Tom Byron has just fucking... Jilted is out in himself on Mike South. A guy named Tim Trich. Who the fuck are you, Tim Trich? You're a fucking nobody, motherfucker. Tim Trich. Motherfucking Tim Trich. Who the fuck is Tim Trich? Tim Trich. What well, ain't Tim Trich? If you seem to be such a motherfucking uh, uh, a player in the business, why don't you set up an industry uh, uh, performers union, Tim Trich? Since you've paid for countless tests from countless fucking women, and you've paid for, if I counted correctly, we're talking about two, three hundred thousand. 
If you've done all of this stuff, Tim Trich, why don't you... Where are you, Tim Trich? You fucking hiding on a keyboard, you little fucking bitch. Tim Trich, you ain't nobody, motherfucker. You ain't nobody, you fucking worthless bitch. Tim Trich, the fuck out of here. Tim Trich. What the fuck is Tim Trich? What a fucking nobody. Tim Trich. You're a fucking nobody, Tim. Tim Trich. Tim Trich, you are a fucking jerk off. You're a fucking nobody. You're a nothing. You're a fucking weak punk. You fucking run your fucking mouth on here. You're a fucking nobody. You're a punk. You get it, motherfucker? You've been outed, bitch. You've been outed. Just as the bitch-ass punk you are. You fucking bitch-ass punk. You're a nothing. You're a fucking nobody. You haven't paid for shit, bitch. If you paid for anything, you dig deep into your little fucking pockets, you fuck. You see this, Tim Trench? See this, you fucking faggot? This is, this is a fucking Benjamin. You take out all these Benjamins that you say you laid out for all this talent, and you'd start a whole new organization, wouldn't you, Tim Trench? Since it says that you worked for these clinics for six or seven years, so I would think that you would know the inside and out of the whole testing procedures, Tim Trench. Matter of fact, with you and all your fucking Benjamins, and of course, Mike South's influence and fucking power, I would think together, you two could create a union that would be a driving force in the adult business that could protect all the performers. And while you're at it, you can help protect all the performers from Mike South who work uh, with Mike South talent who don't even fucking get tested. Oh, I'm sorry. He takes a, a little Q-tip, swabs their mouth with it, and then fucking uh, runs it in a, uh, a, a store-bought test, which is fine. But uh, that syphilis, don't test for that. HPV, don't test for that. Gonorrhea, don't test for that. Hepatitis C, don't test for that. Why doesn't Mike, test, uh, Mike South test for that? Because he knows the guys. Because his guys only work for him. His guys only work for him. That, that's what they do. His guys only work for him. Or I should quote what Mike South said. Okay? I'm sure. His guys only test for him. And then on top of that, Mike South says, his guys... Uh, are not even in a database. I mean, he uses just strength. As, as Alexander told me last night, it doesn't sound like Mike South has porn shoots. It sounds like he has fuck parties. It sounds like Mike South is getting together with a bunch of inbred hillbillies all sitting around all sitting around wearing Confederate flag t-shirts, drinking some fucking moonshine, eating some fucking pork and beans, and just fucking girls and passing them around. That's what it sounds like. Mike South uses talent that nobody's ever fucking heard of. 
talent that's not tested, and you got a bunch of inbred assholes on Mike South, led by a guy named Tim Trish, who nobody's ever heard of, but says that he's an important worker in the adult community. And he worked at testing clinics for years and years and years. And on top of that, ladies and gentlemen, he's laid out hundreds of thousands of dollars for girls uh, who've had HIV. Did, you, you guys, did you know that? Did you guys know that? No, did you guys know that? Huh? Did you, did you guys know that? Did you guys know that? Seriously. Did you guys know that? Tim Trist. This Tim fucking Trist. Tim Trist. This is what he says. I was never against AIM. Hell, I helped you uh, the place with my own hands. I was against the way the industry used AIM and that Mitch allowed it. I was also against them uh, st uh, stiffing me for the 650000 Who would it be? Oh, he was stiffed $650,000. Oh, wow. Once again, another fucking jerk-off asshole liar. It's all he is, a fucking asshole jerk-off liar. Okay? Really, you got stiffed for $650,000. Well, where, you know, where's your fucking claims? Well, where's your fucking court action? Instead, you post anonymously on a website, you faggot. That's what you are, jilted Tim Trich. You're a fucking punk faggot. You're a lying little queer. That's what you are. They owe me 600. You're fucking so full of shit, you cocksucker. AIM was very good at what they did. It is what the industry did with it that wasn't good. Now you have the producers, oops, uh, AHF in charge of the testing, and that can never be good. The biggest mistake Mitch ever made was letting producers call his shots. Dotting the I's and crossing the T's when it comes to proce uh, pro uh, procedure is one thing, and that's what that statement was in reference to. Healthcare policy in reference to a harm reduction program is something completely different. For the industry to claim a harm reduction program is as first line of defense is a fucking joke. I'm sure you already know this, Jamie. You aren't stupid. So I will ask you the same question I asked Brooke and see if you will answer that. How good is the 10-day-old test for someone who had, had unprotected sex with 10 people in the last 10 days? And how many people got infected in the spring of 04? Darren James... Uh, Darren, Jessica, Missy, and Laura is the standard industry answer. Yes, is that your answer? Laugh out loud. Ha 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 ha. Jilted. Hey, Tim Klitsch, you faggot. If you're such... Why is everybody getting off this mic south? Because Tim Klitsch, the guy that you sit here and rally around, the guy that you sit there and fucking... Uh, post anonymously to his fucking website is the guy that is going against everything you're saying. You just sat there and called out Brooke, okay? Why aren't you asking Mike South the same question? Mike South is sitting there telling you he uses guys that don't even get fucking tested. Mike South uses guys that only get tested with a aura swab. They don't get a DNA PCR test. They don't have fucking syphilis tests. They don't have gonorrhea tests. They don't have fucking uh, any of these tests. So, again, Tim Clinch, why the fuck aren't you attacking Mike South? 
Why? Because he lets you post anonymously on his message board. And you give him all sorts of cool, interesting aim information. Ladies and gentlemen, there's your fucking big scoop. There's your big fucking scoop. When Mike South puts out all this information about all the testing procedures and I know this, he don't know shit. This fucking inbred hilly motherfucker don't know shit. This half a fag Tim Klitsch knows shit. Because he worked at the clinic. That's it! And he claims that he's owed $650,000. I smell bullshit! You got fucking Liberace here. Bullshit. So now, you know what I love, motherfuckers? And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Every one of you motherfuckers in the industry, you cocksuckers that don't like me, Listen, I should be getting sent a fucking bottle of champagne, motherfuckers. You motherfuckers should be sending me a bottle of fucking champagne right now. Okay? I commend. I commend, motherfucker. Okay? Okay? Tim, Trish, you fuck. I commend. Fucking Devil Man, Texas Longhorn, and fucking Mark Spiegler's girlfriend, Cindy Spiegler. I commend you three, but you fuckers should be fucking sending me some fucking bottles of fucking champagne, motherfucker. That's what you guys should be doing. Because I have fucking, I have fucking, I have fucking smoked these motherfuckers out of their fucking rat holes. I have smoked these motherfuckers out of their fucking rat holes. We finally got some fucking answers. But this day is a glorious day because this is the day that Mike South is dead. This is the day that this motherfucker's credibility and who he is is dead. You take this half a fag Tim Trench out of the fucking scenario, and Mike South has nothing more than people anonymously emailing him about T-Real. That is all. That is all, motherfucker. That is all this bitch has. That's all he has. Because if you look on this site, the only information about any of the medical procedures or any of that whatsoever directly comes from this Tim Trench. <clears throat> Tim Trench, you fucking jack off. This fuck, listen to this fucking asshole. I also worked as a paid consultant for Latata. Wow. Think about it. And then and then as the sites are going, you got Mike South going to Brooke. Knock it off. Lacey isn't a guy. And this has developed into childish nonsense. Her opinion is every bit as valuable as yours. It seems that you are skipping over and ignoring the facts. Let's get back on track, please. Mike South, fuck you. How's that? You fucking tell Lace, you tell fucking Brooke to knock it off? You know what, Mike South, you're a bitch. Why don't you fucking fess up, you fucking faggot? Why don't you and fucking Tim Trick suck each other's fucking cocks, you fuck? Hey, Tim Trick, you fucking queer. I fucking now go on there and I see shit you write about me, you fucking anonymous posting bitch. Hey, Tim Trick. Here's my address, 6632 Lankerson Boulevard, you fucking punk, North Hollywood, California. I fucking eat your fucking heart, motherfucker. Come down here. Think you're a fucking tough guy? You ain't a fucking tough guy. You're a bitch. You an anonymous bitch-ass punk. Come to 6632, motherfucker. Come down.
down here. I'll eat your fucking heart. I'll fucking throw it back up. And I'll send it to fucking Mike South. So he can smear it all over his untested talent. That he fucks the girls with. That get the full battery and test out here in California. Tim Trish, you fuck. I fucking shit on you, motherfucker. I got no respect for an anonymous poster. You're a fucking bitch. You're a fucking punk. You ain't no shit, motherfucker. 650000 You know what you're owed? You're owed a fucking kick right up your faggot ass. Bitch ass punk. Fucking jerk off. Mike South telling people, knock it off. Mike South, why don't you knock it off? Why don't you explain your theories about how your talent is magic talent? Huh? Why don't you explain how your fucking talent is magic talent? It's like the magic jack. And your talent doesn't get any disease. That's why they don't have to test. For that matter, Mike South doesn't even have to test. Mike South, where's your fucking battery of test, you fuck? Huh? Mike South, where's your battery of tests? Huh? Where's your battery of tests? Where, where, I mean, again, guys, we're talking about the Deep South. We're talking about a bunch of inbred hillbillies. We are literally talking about a bunch of inbred hillbillies. That's what we're talking about. Talking about a bunch of fucking Georgia. We're talking about the fucking state that was the central hub for slavery. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about a state that basically had to be forced to take down their Confederate flag. Okay? We're talking about a fucking state, alright, that actually had a governor that uh, became the governor because he, like, chased a bunch of blacks out of his restaurant with a fucking axe. Okay? That's what we're talking about. We're talking about people that fuck their own fucking family. And these people, they don't have to get a full battery of tests. All they got to do is walk up, take their chastity belts off, and then Mike Soft takes a swab, sticks it in their mouth, and goes, All right, you're clean to fuck. Go ahead, go ahead and fuck, go right ahead, you're clean. Oh, that, yeah, don't worry, I got my Cal OSHA inspector, or my Georgia and uh, OSHA inspector. I do, I got my Georgia OSHA inspector, come on over. I got my OSHA inspector. Yeah, he said what we're doing is correct. Yeah, and he's even talking to Tim Clitch out there in California. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, you see, Tim, he's giving us all the answers we need because he's laid out $650,000, Tim Trich. Yeah, yeah, Tim's a good guy. Yeah, he knows everything about uh, porn and disease. Yeah. Yep, my buddy. Yep. Well, yep. My man, uh, Tim Tritch. Yep. My man, Tim Tritch. He knows everything about the disease. And him and the uh, Georgia Ocean Inspector said that I'm A-OK. -okay. So we're just going to spread our cum all over everybody. And, uh, you know, uh, Georgia's uh, all cool. Yep. Yep. Tim Tritch, you're a fuckhead. That's what you are. That's what you are. You're a punk. Okay? 
I eat your heart out. And after I eat your heart out, I make you eat my ass out, and then I fucking rape you. That's what I do. I rape you. And as I fuck you in your ass, I beat you in the back of your head with my fucking hammer. Okay? You fucking useless punk. Fucking man. The fact that you fucking people are going like this. And the fact that everybody is trying to fucking shift the conversation to just testing openly is retarded. Meaning, openly being, oh, well, how good is a 10-day test? How good is a 5-day test? How good? We're not talking about tests. We're, we all are fine with what risks that everybody has. If we all get AIDS tomorrow, that's fine. We're talking about Mike South, how he is a fucking douchebag cocksucker who is bullied and terrorized everybody in this fucking business. And this son of a bitch is doing exactly what he condemns everybody else for. That's what we're talking about. Okay, Tim Trich? You fucking shirk off. The only motherfucker that talks on Mike South's board with his little faggot ass anonymous name about all your medical procedures. You're a fucking jerk off. You're the only motherfucker that sucks on his dick. Everybody else basically... You know what I, I love it now. Now, when you dissect Mike South's message board, he basically has two people that post on there. And one of them is a bunk-ass bitch, Tim Trich. There you go. And Tim Trich knows that his little fucking idol, Mike South, is fucking jammed up, and he don't even want to fucking... Darren James, Miss Missy, Laura. Who, fuck, who gives a fuck? Put that over here, asshole. I'm talking about Mike South. I'm talking about how Mike South... Okay? Talking about Mike South. Okay? And I mean, it just listen to what Mike Sun says. The only difference is how I test and how everyone else tests is that I use an additional same day test. And that my guys are not and never will be in any performer database. Everyone who shoots for me knows that up front. The old, uh, so basically, here's my question and statement. And now this will go to every single one of you agents. And Devil Man and fucking Texas Longhorn and uh, Cindy Spiegler, this goes... To you, you guys are all part of Latata. You guys are part of Mark Spiegler. You guys, I would say, are the second ranking member along Derek Hay. What Mike South is saying is that every girl that works for uh, him knows that the guys they work with are not uh, tested properly and they're not in uh, the performer database. So what that uh, is telling me is that every girl that is with a Latata agent from Mark Spiegler to Derek Hay uh, to ATM LA uh, are basically breaking protocol. Now, what I would suggest to Devil Man and your crew and get this word to Spiegler is there should be a ban on all talent that is working under the Latata banner to work for Mike South. And if you are a girl who works for Mike South, you will not get work in any productions in Los Angeles. All right? Let's fucking make this shit real. 
Let's bury this cocksucker. If all you motherfuckers are serious and it ain't about playing little fucking hidden email games and let's fucking email each other <laughs> and make up fake names, let's fucking be serious here. Okay? You want to fucking, you want to fucking have some real fucking sanctions? There you go. Mike out the stating right here. And let me say it again. Okay, let me say it again, Sam. Let me say it again. Okay? The guys that work with the talent. Let me explain what he says. The only difference is how I test and how everyone else tests. Is that I use an additional same day test. And that my guys are not and never will be in any performer database. Everyone who shoots for me knows that up front. Okay? Now, what he says, uh, how I test and everyone else test, is that I use an additional same-day test. Mike South does not use an additional same-day test for his male talent. The male talent only have one test, and that is a aura swab that is conducted by Mike South himself. So an inbred, ignorant hillbilly who is a complete moron, he is the gatekeeper of disease. So he goes, oh, looks like you don't got AIDS. Go ahead and fuck that girl. That's what he does. So there is no guys that he has that have two tests. Those guys don't have... Uh, uh, talent testing, service tests, or cutting edge tests. He says it. They're not in the database. And all the talent that works with these people know that these guys aren't uh, industry tested. So, if we go through the Mike South uh, archives, and Devil Man, you guys seem to do it because uh, you got that Jessica fucking Chase uh, video Go through that fucking video and find out all the girls that have worked for Mike South. Find out all the agents. B B guys, B here it is. Here it is. Any girl, you need to put a memo out. Any girl that works for Mike South will not be welcomed in Los Angeles. And all of you agents, and Spiegler, you need to get word to the other fucking jerk off, Derek Hay, who I know supplies girls to Mike South. He needs to stop sending girls to Mike South. Because if you guys are permitting talent to work with untested guys from Mike South, you people are no better than Mike South. Mike South just buried all of the agents who send Mike South talent who are working with those fucking guys he has who have nothing but a fucking oral swab test that Mike South writes in a book. So I call upon the devil man and Texas Longhorn and Cindy Spiegler to round up your fucking coalition. You get fucking, fucking uh, Mark Spiegler to make a call to Derek A, to make a call to ATMLA, to make a call to fucking uh, uh, T, whoever the fuck is part to OC modeling. You need to make a call to fucking Axel Braun and you need to call Wicked. You need, you guys, I know deal business with Brazzers. You need to make a call with Brazzers. Everybody needs to put out a fucking memo. You know how Mike Stubb likes to take credit uh, for telling people and telling girls to boycott Twisties? Because a bunch of fucking stupid fucking jerk off girls got gypped on going to a Cancun vacation? Well, guess what? The same now needs to be done to Mike South. There needs to be a boycott of all talent that work for Mike South because that talent is working with untested 
guys. So, I'm calling on you motherfuckers. Enough with your fucking bullshit fucking emails, busting balls, having a good fucking time, writing goofy fucking stories. You guys want to make a fucking difference in this fucking business? You want to start by ridding the fucking diseased plague that is fucking Mike South? This cocksucker, this vermin, this fucking piece of fucking human dog shit? There's your fucking start, motherfuckers. There's your fucking start. Real fucking simple. There's your fucking start. He claims right here. Okay? He claims right here. His guys are not listed in the performer database. His guys do not take the industry standard tests that see if they have syphilis, gonorrhea, hepatitis, fucking chlamydia and HPV, and those guys work with industry talent. That means agents are sending talent to Mike Sop. Devil man, you need to go on Mike Sop's site and you need to find who are the fucking agents that are sending talent to Mike Sop. Now, I know I haven't seen Chanel Preston uh, getting fucked by a bunch of fucking inbred hillbillies. I know I haven't seen Skin Diamond get fucked by a bunch of inbred hillbillies. I know I haven't seen Kimberly Kane get fucked by a bunch of inbred hillbillies. I know I haven't seen um, Remy LaCroix get fucked by a bunch of inbred hillbillies. But there's got to be some agents that are sending girls or girls that are working separately for Mike South. Plain and simple, any girl that works for Mike South is banned from working here in Los Angeles. That's it. If this fucking Jessica Chase hadn't opened up Pandora's box and this happened uh, to another girl, Jessica Chase would be banned from working back in L.A. Because we would find out that she had worked in an embassy suite hotel for Mike South. Which would make her banned. But, she's the one uh, that was the whistleblower. So, she fucking it, it has to be put up on top of a fucking pedestal. If you could skin her body, you could make a fucking... A fucking... A, a skin jersey and put it here on the wall like a shrine. So from this day forward, if all of you people want to actually make a difference and rid this fucking industry of a piece of human fucking dog shit named Mike South, then guess what? Guess what? Any girl that works for this piece of fucking dog shit is banned. Okay? Now, when we're sitting here and we're putting together uh, uh, the conspiracy theories, I have somebody that's telling me something that makes very much sense. So once in a while, her conspiracy theories uh, mean something. And let me explain to you with this. Alexandra hit me and said, if this guy Tim Klitsch is uh, or was a paid consultant for Latata, that means he was directly in Derek Hayes' pocket. Derek is in charge of Latata. It's been obvious for a while that South has been in bed with Derek Hay. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's pretty evident that if Mr. Jilted, which is Tim uh, Klitsch, is that, is that how you say the name? If Tim Klitsch is a uh, Mike South uh, writer, 
Okay, let's think about it. You got uh, Tim Klitsch being a Mike South writer. You have him feeding Mike South every piece of information about testing uh, as to make South look like he knows all of this inside scoop. Okay? And now we're finding out that this uh, piece of shit, uh, Tim fucking, uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to keep fucking up his name, and I don't mean to. Uh, this uh, uh, Tim Tritch. Now we find out that Tim Tritch was a paid consultant for Latata. <clears throat> Latata. Uh, is run and operated by Derek Hay. So Tim Trich is a paid consultant for Latata. Tim Trich is Mike South's biggest cheerleader. He's his biggest fucking bitch boy that writes on his fucking website and feeds him all of this testing information. Tim Trich then uh, has the line of communication between Mike South and Derek Hay. Derek Hay has talent. Derek Hay uh, is never abused on Mike South's website. And if you guys go through and take a look in the past year, where has Mike South attacked Derek Hay? You're not going to find it. Matter of fact, you're going to find more cases than one where Mike South has defended Derek Hay. You're going to find during uh, the uh, syphilis uh, investigations that were involved Clover and the syphilis investigations uh, that involved um, uh, Alex Kahn's. Mike South defended Derek Hay. Mike South gave a forum so Derek Hay to get out from under the bus. Derek Hay has actually put his banner on Mike South's website, Latata, where Mike South has said he never received money for it. Uh, he just put it up there because he felt Latata does a good job. Well, now the plot is thickening. So apparently Derek Hay has no problem with his talent working uh, with hillbilly, inbred, untested fucks out in fucking Georgia. Apparently, uh, the devil man, as I like to call him, uh, should be... Uh, sitting there with Texas Longhorn and Cindy Spiegler, and they should be on uh, uh, the uh, internet uh, purchasing uh, a Mike South all-access pass. And they should be going through and taking a look uh, at what Mike South has shot in the last year. And they should be seeing how many of those girls are connected to Derek Hay. They should be seeing how many girls have been working for Mike South uh, with untested uh, guys from Georgia. And then those guys from Georgia infect these girls, and then they come back here. Hmm. And we wonder where all this disease is coming from. So basically, think about this, guys. Mike South doesn't test for any of the diseases except for a little aura swab for HIV. So now you have all this talent that comes out of Porn Valley that goes down to Georgia and they work for Mike South. They then work with a whole bunch of untested guys. Then they come back up here to Porn Valley and then they work with all of our talent, and then they go for their 30-day tests. 
And then lo and behold, what happens? Oh, they test positive for gonorrhea. Oh, they test positive for chlamydia. And what happens? Who's the culprit? Us, Porn Valley, because we're so fucking dirty and we're so disgusting. But yet, all this talent is working in Georgia and working with Mike Sopt and his unfucking tested talent pool. And then, in a span of two days, they hop on an airplane, shoot back to LA with that fucking disease festering in their body. So now, when they test, what happens? Well, you got it here. How did you get it here? Well, you must have worked with these people. Because they don't know that these motherfuckers were roaming around in fucking Georgia in the backwoods with mosquitoes, alligators, and people that fucked their mothers. Now the plot is thickening. The plot is thickening like the diarrhea that comes out of my fucking asshole after a late night party binge, motherfucker. Now we see where the goddamn fucking connection is. It's evident. Tom Byron just hit me and said, Tim Trich sold out AIM to AIDS Healthcare Foundation. Tim Trich is a fucking rat. And you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen? I bet you fucking Tim Trich is the one that leaked the database uh, to that Donnie Long. Ain't that something? Tim Trich, who had a fucking axe to grind, sold the aim out because they owed him in the bit. Think about this, you guys. Tim Trich said he's disgruntled because the industry, okay, aim the industry owed him six hundred and sixty six hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So what did he do? He sold out uh, the fucking uh, aim to fucking AIDS Healthcare Foundation. And then what did he do? He fucking sold out all those records to Donnie Long to show everybody how unsecure AIM was. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike South has been part of this entire conspiracy from the very beginning, man. Where's my bottle of champagne, motherfuckers? Where you guys all want to condemn me, but in almost less than a year, I have just turned this entire fucking situation upside down. And now I put the ball in all of your court because it's up to you to bury this motherfucker. Mike South is dead, motherfucker. Bury this motherfucker. Devil man. Devil man. Bury this motherfucker. You have the connection to AVN. You have the connection to Peter Warren. Now it's time while I'm fucking Mike Sutherland is fucking Mike Tyson. He just got fucking hit and he's wobbling. Now it's time. Boom. 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 Out. Put this motherfucker down. Enough is enough. This Tim Trich is a fucking rat. And I know you're all in bed with fucking Derek Hay, but this motherfucker Derek Hay is fucking practicing something that is unsafe. Whatever fucking deals he has with Mike South, guys... We now know where all the disease in this business comes from. It comes from Lake South. It comes from the South. Just like everything shitty in this country that fucking comes from the fucking South, everything shitty from porn comes from the South. Every problem we have 
comes from the South and American politics, and every problem we have in the porn industry comes from the South with Mike South. Ladies and gentlemen, we now know where all the connection is. It's all come fucking full circle, ladies and gentlemen. We now have all the fucking answers. Do you guys understand me? We now have all the answers. Tim Trich, who is a fucking paid consultant from and by Latata, who worked directly with Derek Hay, who's also a anonymous poster uh, on Mike South's message board and goes by the name of Jilted, who contributes all of the testing and all of the medical information to Mike South on a regular basis. Without him, Mike South wouldn't have one fucking clue of what's going on with any of the testing. That guy worked for Sharon Mitchell and AIM for six and seven years. That guy has claimed that he's the one who told women that they had HIV. He's the one that's got scars up and down his fucking arms from the girl squeezing him and fucking saying, Oh my God, I'm going to die. And he's also the guy that was fucking as he would say, stiffed for over a half a million dollars. He's the guy, he's the guy that blew Sharon Mitchell and AIM in to AIDS Healthcare Foundation. He's the guy that helped bury AIM and Sharon Mitchell, and he's the guy that released and got all those records to Donnie Long. That guy has been working with Mike South for years. This guy has worked with Derek Hay. This guy has been part with Mike South in sending girls from Derek Hay over to Georgia where they fuck guys who are untested and then those guys infect those girls. And they then come back here to Los Angeles. And everybody wonders why we have super gonorrhea. And everybody wonders why nobody ever heard of super gonorrhea except for Mike South. Do you know why? Because Mike South is the one who's giving it to people. Mike South is the one who has the super gonorrhea that's giving it to people. So what do you say? Hey, there's super gonorrhea going around in the valley. There's super gonorrhea going around in the valley. There's super gonorrhea going around the valley. Of course there's super gonorrhea going around the valley. You know why? Because his fucking guys that he quote unquote knows so well and knows everything they're doing and the fact that they're not in the database but he keeps a watchful eye on them like he's fucking God in the sky knowing what everyone does. Mm. Yeah, one of those guys got fucking super gonorrhea, passed it on to a girl, and the cover story is, you guys up there in L.A. got super gonorrhea. How? Because Mike South's people gave it. Mike South is the connection of all of the disease that we have here in the Valley. It all comes from Mike South. It all comes from Mike South. Facts are facts, guys. Facts are facts. He's sitting... This isn't Rob Black spewing out fucking bullshit. This is facts. When the man is talking about how his talent is not tested, he has talent that is not tested for gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis, and hepatitis. Don't you guys understand this? 
The only test that these guys have is a aura quick swab test. Do you guys understand this? Seriously, do you guys not get this? This is facts. Guys, this is fucking facts. So any of those guys have gonorrhea or any of those diseases. And Mike Stout said, oh, well, uh, everybody that uh, uh, has uh, penetration is fully tested uh, or they use a condom. That's a lie. And he classifies, I read, penetration as a blowjob. Okay, well, you can get chlamydia, you can get gonorrhea, you can get all of that from a fucking blowjob. Girls have gonorrhea uh, in their throat. It, it's happened. We know this. We fucking know this. If a guy's got a dose of gonorrhea, he's got a drip dick, and he squirts that shit in a girl's mouth, you don't think that girl's gonna fucking get it? Are you fucking people insane? Everything Mike Sub says in his message board, because he won't post it in his fucking top blog, that's where he posts uh, his story uh, and his quote being in Maxim due to Adela, or how man women are a bunch of assholes. Again, So this motherfucker, this motherfucker has talent. He has fucking talent, okay, that are sitting there working untested. Plain and simple. He's got talent that is working without a battery of tests except for an oral swab. And his answer and his explanation is this. The oral swab test is good enough because he watches and he knows what all these guys do because they only work for him and once they leave him they don't do anything they don't do a fucking thing they don't do anything fuck forget fucking they don't do drugs they don't do anything because Mike South knows him so well how does that make any sense to anybody? Here's the sense. Once again, when you're a lawyer and you have a court of law, okay, and you're actually uh, developing a case and you're stacking evidence, okay, and you're putting together pieces of a puzzle, this is how you do it. And when you break down all this evidence, when Rob Black says all the disease that we have here in California in our production crews, and when I say crews, I'm talking about talent, is all stemmed from Mike South. It's all related to Mike South. It's all related to this flow of talent that travels to work for Mike South with untested talent. They come back into our fucking talent pool co-mingle with the talent here, and then they wind up going to AIM, or uh, uh, cutting edge testing, and guess what? They go, oh wow, you got fucking uh, 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 gonorrhea. Oh, really? Fuck. Who did you last work with? Oh, I worked with this person, that person, this person, oh yeah, okay. But the bottom line is, they got that fucking gonorrhea. They got that chlamydia the minute one of them untested fucking hillbillies in a fucking uh, uh, Ramada Inn or whatever the fuck half-ass hotel that Mike South goes to where he says a OSHA compliance officer is at. That is where all the disease is coming from. Every single one of you agents, devil man, I just put it together I just laid the foundation down, and now it's up to you. It's up to you to now bury this motherfucker Mike South. Give him a knockout blow. Be done with it once and for all. You put a fucking ban in place. 
that no talent can work for Mike South from any of the agencies. Someone needs to go talk to Derek A. If you have to put your foot up his fucking ass, then you fucking do it. Okay? Plain and simple. Mike South is the root of all evil, man. That is the pipeline of disease. And this isn't Rob Black spouting off lies, spouting off bullshit. This is Rob Black developing this case straight from the fucking evidence that is laid out. Plain and simple. Straight from the evidence that is laid out. Do you understand? Straight from the evidence laid out. Pretty fucking simple, guys. Pretty fucking simple. We're going to take a fucking break, okay? Uh, because it's uh, Katie Summers uh, News Hour. It's Katie Summer News Hour, man. And it's time to hear from the little baby. From the little baby. All right? And trust me, guys. And remember this. Tonight, we'll be back on Mike South and his fucking uh, festering disease that he's now uh, brought into this business. Uh, his little rat fink douchebag, uh, fucking Tim. Uh, the fact that we've connected all the dots to all these motherfucking people, okay? Now, oh man, oh man, I'm starting to get fed a lot of stuff, uh, and we're gonna have to find these girls. Uh, in closing, uh, South's favorite current model is Cherry Morgan. Uh, beware of Cherry Morgan, guys. And uh, Rogue, her name was Rogue. So Rogue and Cherry Morgan are two girls that are uh, favorites of Mike South. Okay? And uh, an agency named Cox Models is starting to book their talent with Los Angeles Studios. All of these people are working with untested guys. Alright? All these people are working with untested guys and they are putting the life of every single performer in this fucking valley at risk. So the first two girls on the list uh, are Cherry Morgan. Uh, her Twitter is Cherry Morgan XXX. And uh, another girl by the name of Rogue. They are both Cox models. Uh, Cox models. Uh, these are people that need to be stopped. Uh, they cannot be let into this porn valley. And they are working with Mike South and his untested, disease-filled uh, crew.